internet. We are back here today for some magic. We all need a little magic on this Tuesday. And we are here with Witch Girl Adventures and this incredible group of ladies. We do have a missing uh, player this week. Uh, their magic has run a little dry and they are a tad under the weather. Uh, but I'm sure that she will be back with us next week. So uh, we'll see Tiffany again next week. But I've been chatting with her privately. So she's got her part to play uh, tonight. That is for sure. Uh, but let's just kick right off. Let's uh, let you introduce yourself and tell us uh, very quickly who you are playing. And we're going to drop right below me and go to Shauna. Shauna. Hey, uh, Shauna Flying Surf's Twitter. I am playing Jess Hana, the protection slash healing witch who is also half dwarf and is excited to go to a mundane party. I feel like everybody but me is really excited to go to this mundane party. <laughs> this is more excited than <laughs> this more excited than any real party I went to in high school. So uh, just like. Yeah. I think that that's actually kind of true. That being said, uh, I am very, very excited to, uh, to to see where this goes and what you have planned. As I told you in the Zoom chat before all this got started, I did not plan for this in any way, shape, or form. Uh, so this is all you. This is y'all's plan. You put this together. You're going to have to see it through. Uh, so here we go. You better gear up. Uh, moving right along, we're going to go over to Eris. Hey, Eris. Hello, um, I'm Eris Savad. I am a seamstress, and right now I am playing Raven Callahan, who is in Alteration Elementalism Protection Jinx. Um, she has very bad luck, so she's gotten pretty good at a few different types of magic to try to make up for it. Um, <laughs> but uh, she's excited because she knows that the real party starts in the after party, where we may or may not be using our dates as vampire bait. <clears throat> Another reason why I'm so terribly excited <laughs> to be playing uh, all these mundanes. Yeah, this is uh, this is true. I uh, I'm just excited to see if you guys actually go through the 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 trap. And then what you do when you trap a vampire, if you trap a vampire. What do teenage witches do with vampires that they trap? Buffy this taught me you're supposed question. to stake them. Well, I she mean, kind of slept with two of them, but <coughs> that's a true story. <laughs> I'll type in chat the thing that I was just going to say because Sorry, this is a family-friendly show right now. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. We're supposed to be family-friendly? I think it was a family-friendly show until <laughs> that last statement. <laughs> it was a true statement. And for it, all of you true. at home who are, are really questioning what exactly I meant by that statement, I mean, sometimes two people, they share a bed together. Yep. And sometimes they make <laughs> out under the See, makeup. See, now here series. Eris is like ramping it up to 11. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, that actually <laughs> happened, though. That's true. Yep. making out under the makeout willow. Yep, that's how the we found out how tree. Loretta was made. Maybe yes. Oh, that's right. All. Yep. The birds and the bees, kids. Speaking of Loretta. <laughs> yeah, speaking of being made under a willow tree. Uh, uh, tell, uh, Catherine, uh, how are you? Oh, God. <laughs> I'll be okay. Um, all right, my name is Catherine Bursanistas, uh, gluttonous underscore geek on Twitter. I run the nerdy food blog, The Gluttonous Geek, and I play Loretta Maytree, the uh, 1950s sort of conjuration, divination, uh, which who found out how um, where apparently she was uh, conceived last episode? Uh, oh gosh! And um, <laughs> yeah, she's about to go to a party to a real um, sock op. You know? Maybe oh she's my! Cop. I don't know. We'll we'll see how this plays out. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, uh, yeah. the sock hop <laughs> that was a really bad dad joke <laughs> but it, it, it caught up to me it really did I got more tickled the more I thought about it <clears throat> oh, gosh. oh man moving right along uh, Kika how are you tonight I'm okay I'm Kika uh, at Kika VO on Twitter um, I play Elizabeth Detas, the youngest uh, member of the group who specializes in time and space magic with some mentalism and a little bit of necromancy lately. She's half immortal and makes all the plans with not enough follow through. 
Which is why we love her. Um, I, yeah, this is why. Uh, because you cause your own drama, so you don't even need all of you at home to give bits and tips to fill the bar below to make drama happen. Because these, these ladies, they got that on rats. <laughs> but you can do that if you're feeling saucy and want to add extra drama to their life, which I feel like tonight in our very John Hughes style uh, high school tale uh, of, of a late night party and possible bait and trap uh, may in fact uh, need to need to amp up a little bit. So if you'd like to do that, you can get bits and tips. I'm uh, yeah, I'm very excited. And I'm also excited to announce that we will be doing another Witch Girls giveaway. Uh, so you can get uh, all that information next week. I'll have the link will be live. And we'll be using a new platform so you can actually enter your name multiple times. Uh, so depending on, you know, where you follow and if you subscribe to the channel and all different ways to drop your name in a couple extra times. And we're going to have another giant Witch Girls gift pack uh, put together by these amazing amazing ladies uh and it will include a hard copy of the witch girl adventures of course along with a slew of other stuff so uh keep your ear to the ground for that and uh yeah be prepared we'll be doing the giveaway the final episode which is the day before halloween i'm very excited for that one i've been planning it i have i have things up my sleeves uh but that being said speaking of things up our sleeves let's cut our camera now last time i checked you all thanks to the help of Percy's uh, technological know-how, uh, managed to pose your way into a mundane high school for a day. You took classes, kind of. Uh, you uh, had some social interactions that went both uh, uh, well and not so well. Uh, when the popular girls attempted to, I think, in their own rightful way, uh, give you the time of day, uh, they found uh, that witches are sassier than they originally planned, and the, a little bit of pushback uh, went a long way, and they were not so pleased with you. Uh, they did. She did tell you that she would not be inviting you to her party, but somehow the five of you still managed to land dates with the cool dudes. Um, well, one of them's kind of cool. Um, Tyler included, and Tyler asked all of you to come be the dates for their group of friends for this party happening tonight. We're going to do a cut because what happens in the rest of mundane school is mundane. It's mundane. They go to these things called lockers. They, they put things in them. Why wouldn't you need a place to carry your things? It's all very strange. They sit together and eat lunch, not at long tables together, but it's short circular ones. It's the food is weird and gross. Uh, it doesn't appear potentially out of thin air. Uh, everything about it is normal. Now, for those of you that come from Mundania, that's no big thing. But for those of you that have never spent a day in mundane school, it's, uh, pretty boring. I don't know. I feel like Elizabeth would feel like it was going to a museum. <laughs> like it's an yes. anthropological study for her. Uh, Let me tell you, you learn quite a lot about the teenage hormones that rage through mundanes, um, as well as the extreme amount of, like, uh, uh, social, uh, uh, interactions that are important in the high school setting of the mundanes, but more importantly, like, they, nobody questions this existence of, like, sitting in rows and showing up and learning what somebody tells you, um, Loretta is just wondering when the musical numbers are going to start up because every time she's been in this particular situation back in her end daydream, you know, if there's some kind of drama going down, you know that the there's a musical number. Start up. <laughs> yes. And anytime anybody asks a question, even if it's under their breath, uh, Raven is 100% there to answer. She's like, oh, well, you know. They, they put them in the lockers because they don't like hearing them, but at the same time, <laughs> they just don't I don't know. It, it's weird. Why don't they just poof into somewhere else? But I guess they, they just don't have. They don't have much. They can't Elizabeth poof. is just taking notes on everything and everyone. <laughs> you each, uh, just you get to see mundane sports in action. That's probably yeah. uh, what piques your interest. Uh, gym class, which is the last thing you have of the day, feeds right into after school extracurriculars. So you guys managed to catch a glimpse of what is the glory of mundane sports. 
dodgeball uh, and all that. Yeah, you, yeah, yo, oh God, you play just dodgeball in PE. Uh, oh. Yeah, it was rough. Uh, and uh, you smell a, we, you share a smelly we... locker room with a bunch of other girls. Oh God, they don't. Oh uh, God, mundane, the mundane high school bathrooms are. I imagine you guys like go around a corner and are like change uh like it's yeah it's just a very odd again social setting but after mitigating all of that you guys make it to the end of the day uh the boys tell you that they will pick you up the last place they picked you up uh and the party starts around nine because it's a high school party (laughs) all right so we know we're going to a party and we know we're gonna try to find vampires. Yeah. Um. How are we gonna do that? Well, the vampires will be looking for kids, so we just gotta wait for the vampire to show up, right? Yeah. I can also I can smell them out. So if it's there, we'll oh, find them. Oh. Well, um, didn't weren't they looking for virgins? Yeah. Yeah, yes. I mean, which is why, party. which is why the snogging tree is where they were hunting. It was like a hunting ground for them, uh, so they seem to um, gravitate towards it. Thank you, voice out of the sky. Yes, um, <laughs> just tossing that your way. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Well. Yeah, the snogging tree is a great place for them to pick up more kids. Um. But but a party has like a whole bunch of them there <laughs> yeah especially yeah. a bunch of virgins it's like a banquet right also the fact that you know people have been gone missing and they're not going to go in the middle of nowhere what better hunting ground is you know high school party yeah but how would they know that the party's going on unless someone told them oh so... hmm. <laughs> i mean they so... probably look like teenagers so it's probably easy enough you know people like that sort of thing Vampires. Don't they usually just kind of die in the sunlight, though? I don't know. That might they be wouldn't completely be able to wrong. Come back. Yeah, they I wouldn't mean... be able to come back to school to, you know, pretend everything's okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, but how did we get here, though? We don't go to the school. Yeah, but we pretended to and got dates to it. But but the, va- the vampires have vampires that used to be students. Mm-hmm. Oh, Okay. So all those right, vampires so... have all the social connection that they had before they got turned into vampires. Yeah. That is true. Didn't we have a couple people who brought vampire dates to our... Uh, uh... Yes, they did. Yes, yes. I do I remember don't know. that. I wasn't Maybe? there. They, they totally did. Yeah. Okay. okay. I was kind of distracted. <laughs> Why did oh. they do that? That's not very safe. Yeah. There was a whole thing. Um... Oh, oh, uh, yeah, that whole like, thing. Oh, oh, with, I, with, I, I can't, I, I don't. Anyways, um, uh, but, yeah, okay. So okay. if the vampires don't come on their own, I, I mean, we take them to we, the tree, right? We take the. Do we have to take? Them? We should seduce people. No, um, our thing is no. Though. Unless you want to, but I'm trying so hard to hold it together. <laughs> the main thing is we have to blend in with the rest of the. If the vampires know that a bunch of strange people come in, they're gonna just run away. Okay, so we need to be bad at everything. Got it. We have not to everything. To... Not everything. But we my just notes have to say that mundanes are bad at everything. I've been. Well, they I are mean, not bad compared to us, they're not witches, of course, but you know, they're they're mundane. To our standards, they're bad at stuff, but for them, they're kind of good, or some of them are. Yeah, like those. Although, yeah, those boys were the best. They probably had. We can probably take them. So we're gonna I mean, fight them now? No, <laughs> no, it's just. But okay, so. But do we have to bring people with us to the snogging tree in order to lure vampires? Wouldn't, like, couldn't they just, would they just come if it was just us hanging out there? Hmm. I mean, I'm not, I'm probably not great lure, so 
you know. Yeah, but wouldn't it be suspicious if we went to the, the makeout tree and weren't making out? Do you have a point, you know? <laughs> That's why I was kind of wondering, because I'm... I mean... Maybe if we bring people over that they know are virgin. You can't you really just... Are we gonna I mean, there was a baby nerd back there, you right? Should... Keep that on the down low when we go to the the, the virgin talk when we go into the party. Yeah, should, no. should, yeah. Don't don't well, ask about the PSA I mean, that, that, that you watched. I was about to say the PSA you've watched over and over. Uh, Loretta tells you that it's <laughs> oh, <laughs> keeping your virginity is important. I'm sure, <laughs> no doubt. You're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean. I'm sorry, today's episode is going to be my favorite episode ever. <laughs> Do the versions taste better than <laughs> I don't want that. Oh, oh gosh, God. anyways. You know that song, yeah. if you're a Ren Faire member, like I am. I, I feel like Elizabeth uh, <laughs> like, is very inquisitive, so she keeps asking a lot of awkward questions yeah. for virginity, like, are you still considered a virgin if you just do, um, you know, with your mouth and stuff? Or is it like... I don't think so, no. When, when's the line? How is, would you is there know like that? a percentage? Or is, is, is there like a point where you like are like 30% virgin or something? Elizabeth, is there something you're not telling us? I... But I have never had sex before. I don't think that's a secret. <laughs> Hey, you're starting to worry me a bit there. I, I mean, you're, you're only 13. That's just... Oh. No. Oh. I mean... Um. <laughs> I just want to know what all the... where all the numbers are in this. I think traditionally um... it's, you know... Traditional. Um, Traditional. I have the, the, the way that babies are made specifically. We're not going to bring numbers into this. There's no math in sex, okay? But could they no, be? No, no, we are not bringing math. Into <laughs> no, you cannot take this with math. <laughs> Don't let <laughs> you, <laughs> you did not get to mess this up with math. <laughs> you can apply math to any situation. Not the things that are fun. Oh gosh. Okay, okay. Maybe there's well, math I, I, for you, but there's no math for me. Anyways, um, I think it's just the traditional way in the spell form. So I think most people in uh, like our age or younger are probably safe to um, consider uh, as for spell purposes. Oh, okay. Um, I I think I I don't maybe. ask. Oh. Don't ask people. If I maybe. have sex, will my magic be worse? No. Mm -hmm. Um you know, maybe we can dare Man, that's some people question. to come out to the willow tree with us. Like, you know how they've all been scared about um people disappearing? Well, maybe, you know, um you know like how these kids are. They like to one up each other. I mean, maybe. all right, Jess, I'll give you the um, a little bit of a tip. If they're super, super nervous when they talk to you, they probably are. So, super, super nervous. They probably Wait. are what? Virgins. Oh, but I'm not nervous talking to Elizabeth. I mean, you're not nervous. But well, better than. <clears throat> I, mean. I imagine that somewhere in this image that the four of you, five of you having this conversation next to the fence overlooking the baseball field. And <laughs> it is simply a metaphor for first, second, and third base. <laughs> this is what the narrator is seeing. As you guys try to work this out uh, after school, watching it's these... like a little cartoon Elizabeth running back and forth between bases while she's talking. Yeah, it's like... Oh, man, that's... We're either shaking our head or going like, yeah. Um, and you watch I love through... you witches. Can I just say yeah. that for a moment? I love all of you so much. I hope so there's all call. This, this is probably um, a pretty interesting, like I said, thing to watch. You guys wait until uh, <clears throat> practice dissipates. 
Um, and I'm gonna assume you're gonna want to get dressed for the party. Yes. 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 Best part. Um. Uh. I. Are you going back to your dorm? Or are you gonna go shopping? We can go shopping. Let's go shopping. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. Let's, let's go, go shopping. shopping. Yes. Okay. okay. You guys very much know where the mall is. Just hmm. has clothes already. It's in the. Let's there's some in the woods. The I was about to say not the witch's mall. The normal mall. Yeah. The yeah. normal mall. Oh, where's that? Uh, just up the road, actually. Not too far. Mm -hmm. Especially for witches. Oh, well, then let's just walk. You don't oh, want to ride your bike? Yeah, I was about to say, you guys do have bicycles. We spent all yeah, that time bike. conjuring yeah. this morning, and you're not going to ride them? It's... Yeah, I'll try them. Off you I'm guys. just going to ride the Vespa again. Yeah. We, the faster <laughs> we go, the more time we have to go clothes shopping. So. Ooh, 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 ooh. We could tie the bikes to the Vespa, and then you could just put your feet out and just let the pedals go. Aren't you supposed to do that with a skateboard? You could do that too. Is it like some? Do you want to steal a skateboard? Can you turn my bike into a motorcycle? No. Oh. You could motorize the bike though. I mean, she does have alteration magic. She could, you know, alter it I into mean, a skateboard. Yeah, with have, a little help, have maybe. Have automotive class? I, I also, I mean, I've been working on my Vespa. I souped it up. It goes five miles an hour over what my dad put the limiter on. You know, I could um, time and space magic it so it goes faster. <gasps> yes. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But we need to make sure that mundanes can't see. Yeah. Oh, um, we should just like not do that right now. But later. I could probably motorize your bike. Maybe we should wait until we're away from the school before we use magic. All right, spoil sport. I mean, they're just gonna think we're smoking I know, behind I the woods. I just wanted you to turn my bike into a motorcycle two seconds ago. And then <laughs> I realized that we're standing here with all of you in front of a mundane school. Where just anyone could see us. There are cameras. Mm -hmm. There's so mm -hmm. many uh, problems that could ensue, but Elizabeth holds Fine. true. Fine. <laughs> I mean, yeah. And off you go to the mall. You guys speed mm -hmm. off. Um, it's open until about nine o'clock, so you guys have a few hours to shop um, and try things on and, and do what you want. So I think the easiest thing for me to do is ask, um, are you guys looking for a particular like shop? Are you wanting shoes? You wanting clothes? You all of the above? Because it's um, a relatively decent sized mall. Yeah. Screw it. It's hmm. the end of world. I'm getting a new outfit. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do that too. It's been a while since I've had something new that I didn't conjure up. I'm curious to see what they have. My clothes fit anymore anyway, so I need new clothes. Yeah. You we know, conjured you new clothes already. But, but I need new other clothes for like tomorrow and the day after. I can't just wear the same outfit every day. That's what I do. But things smell when you do that. I mean, that's why we have cleaning magic. Duh. I look. I put all my points in time and space magic. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you have friends, my dear. Remember, also, this, this is a teenage. It's rude to just expect you to clean all my clothes for me. <laughs> all right, everyone. Remember, Was this is a like teenager a party. party. This isn't a school party. So, look the part. Teenager party. Teenager party, right? I don't know you, what that okay. means. Okay, I. Ooh, ooh, just make you me mean look like, like I'm a wearing badass. right now. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> I guess right. we'll go. We'll go first and get so maybe the other two have an idea. You guys put her in. No idea. Um, <laughs> are you guys? Are you? I'm sure that you find a few shops that seem uh high school appropriate for mundane. Um, I even have some styles you might like. Uh, there is a very tired teenager uh, that clicks on her phone behind the like register when you enter, um, but you're able to kind of search around. What are you looking for? Like, what would you like to actually 
appear to all of us as when you are done with your makeover? Oh gosh, this yeah, is the uh, question. Yeah, Jess <laughs> is looking like she's going to a concert, so it's going to be like tank top, um, jean jacket, like denim jacket, black, you know, short skirt, tight seven slash boots, that sort of thing. Ma'am, all of that, you could find that in just about any shop here. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, and various patterns. I got like the biggest selection of tights that ever existed. Mm -hmm. um, she's able to find all of that, absolutely no problem. And Jess looks amazing. Uh, Loretta kind of wants to keep Brock feeling kind of dumb, like pretty much through the entire party, so he doesn't question anything. Sure. So she's going to go with what her version of sexy is, if what she understands it, and try to find something that makes her look like a 1940s bombshell. Um, sure. Like, you know, off the side of a plane. So we're talking slinky kind of dress with, you no, know, like a modest amount of cleavage going, but yeah, still sure. hugs her curves for, nicely. For a 15-year-old, yeah. Or 16-year-old. Yeah, 16-year-old. Oh, she's she's curvy. Yeah. Um, but yeah. <laughs> All know. right. Um... And she, like, gets some curlers, too, and kind of buys them, and she's that weirdo who's just walking around with them in her hair. <laughs> I, I know this looks strange, and normally I wouldn't do this in public, but believe me, it'll look great when it's done. They do stare. People are like... I mean, trust me, you're not the only mundane in this mall walking around with curlers in their hair. You're just the youngest one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I don't have mud on my face. Uh, Raven's probably taking a bit of a page from Jess's book and going a little bit more on the rocker side of the look uh, with uh, she's probably going to find a band t-shirt and rip it up herself because she feels very passionate that that's how you're supposed to do it. Um, and uh, she's probably going to grab a jean skirt, uh, some uh some sort of whatever shoe I can't think of right now. Um, probably some sort of high top and uh, just like a, either a jean jacket or if she can find it, a, a leather jacket because she's always oh, yeah. wanted a leather jacket, but mom said no. So screw it. It's the end of the world. She's it's getting herself yeah. a leather jacket. And I was about to say, leather, <laughs> leather jackets are easier to come by than ever before. Um, whether they're real leather doesn't matter because it looks great on you looks great on you um how about elizabeth you gotta get all new digs what are you going for yeah um elizabeth is used to very 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 formal parties so i think she doesn't quite understand what the stakes are so she ends up with like a ballroom gown Oh no, Raven! No, we just say no. We like we come down like no, 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 no. Like, you need to go <laughs> go is... more towards something that you'd wear on a daily basis. But this is. But the key, the thing is to look good, but not look like you're trying to look good. So, oh, evening dress. Oh, that's fine, Loretta. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Can we cut Elizabeth? it up a little? Uh, no. I mean, we can we can just we can cut up and then later we can just fix it. I have some magic to take care of that. But I just all the parties I've been to are 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 um state affairs mm -hmm. and and about um ceremony and ritual. And Aren't they also about blending in though? Also there's none of that at this party. I mean, this is actually, more like a wild it's... animal party than it is like a formal event. Well, there is actually it. There is okay. kind of a ceremony and ritual to it. You know, everybody kind of shows up in the same order to every party, and you know, there there is there is some some ritual to teenage parties, but it's not at all the same. Ritual. Do you think the top keep can assist me in oh. figuring out what the proletariat are wearing nowadays? Um. Oh, you yes. know what? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, Elizabeth walks up to the register. It's like, excuse me. Um, She's I need like, help. Click, 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 click. <clears throat> um, I I need help figuring out an outfit. I don't know what is appropriate for people in my age demographic in this area um she like glare puts the phone down and she said and she says 
Um, I don't know that I understood that entirely, but if you want me to help you, I will. We have a party at nine. She needs to look good, and I'll, like, slide her, like, a ten. So oh. She needs to look really good. And I am not from around here, so I don't know what people around here wear nowadays, and I want to... I want to fit in, but also stand out, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I get it totally. Like, last weekend, I went shopping, and I was like, I really need that dress. It's like, oh, I'm blending in the background. But also, like, if you notice me, you, like, notice me. You know what I mean? Yes. Um, that is exactly what I'm looking for. The girl's like, um... And I want it to look expensive so that the popular girls that are mean feel... Uh, inferior to me because they're mean so let me tell you they're mean to me too but what i've learned is that it's not about how expensive your clothing looks like they look like they walked off the street that is true but also i i'm rich oh her jaw kind of like her her entire demeanor changes <laughs> oh um well like so okay. I, I have the means to make them feel bad she says to herself, I'm feeling bad. Um, like, and she goes, okay, well, like, yeah, totally, sure, yeah. Um, let me, um, well, this way. And she kind of, like, steps from behind the counter and kind of takes you back, realizing the opportunity that lies before her. Um, as she has you, it's a montage uh, of yes, Elizabeth trying yes. things on. Yes, and it's like, uh, no. Yeah, no, no yeah. yeah. And it's like, all some of them are weird and funky, and I'm sure there's, like, you know looking at yourself in a mirror and she's telling you all the right things and wrong things to wear at least in terms of the style that she uh knows uh to be true at least in town um do you want to say what you end up settling on or do you want me to to to, uh, to, to make that happen <laughs> help me out because i was not very good at being a 13 year old myself god me neither um she definitely takes your uh oh i was so awkward you guys um I don't think anybody's good at being 13 no. years old. No. Because they're freaking 13. 13, 13 was a nightmare. <laughs> oh. Teenager, being a teenager is hard business. Oh. Uh, it's so hard. Okay, so she has you try all these things on. She probably tries and attempts to convince you to buy more than you actually need. Uh, because he made it very clear to her that you were endowed with such uh, ability. Uh, and she... Uh, she ends up probably settling on, I think, a, hmm, no, she ends up settling on these amazing jeans, all right? Now, women know that when you find a pair of jeans that are the jeans, they're like the jeans, um, and they look great on you. They like, you're already so tall and slender, and they just like really uh, are form-fitting, and it's like somebody made them for you. You could not have cast magic better. And she's like, uh, yeah, you should go like, casual but then we could add like a platform and i'm thinking like and she's kind of like piecing this together as if she's her own version of uh picasso and uh along with the jeans what do i want to do Ooh. she oh she definitely gives you a jacket you're rocking the jacket huh can yes. you find a top that's a little bit like that ball dress that she found earlier oh a sequin it needs a sequin. And she kind of like runs over and finds um, an actually kind of interesting, like, I wouldn't call it a club top. It's more like a crop, actually. But it's got like, it glistens and it feels like a ball gown. Um, it's kind of nice and a, a little slinky. And she's like, oh, but we have to dress it down again. And she puts a, a denim jacket over top of it um, that has, I don't know, it needs to have a patch or something along the back or something uh, to be really hip. And she kind of like dresses you up and it all ends up working in this very kind of uh, 13-year-old, uh, club is not the right word, but like uh, kind of sequiny, fun, exciting outfit uh, that she throws together for you. And she says, I don't know if you like it or not, but you look great. Uh, as she kind of takes, oh. yeah. Elizabeth says, oh, I see. So it's like I, I'm portraying that I could like afford to look way too good for this party but i don't care enough to look my best which makes me look better she goes she gets it i'm a genius like i'm a total genius ah. um and she kind of like takes a couple pictures you know for you if you want it she can like really see yourself and she has a blast you guys have like made her night uh she brings yeah she brings you up uh you guys look fan 
fantastic. Uh, Percy decks herself out, probably in something that's, a, I'm going to guess, a little bit more rustic-y, uh, kind of boho-style uh, popular girl. And... Um, God, all... there's so many pictures like Percy, Percy, so many pictures. oh my god so many so many percy percy <laughs> takes all the pictures um she probably is actively posting to uh what was the the social media uh whatever the social media platform is even though it's probably not used by students as much anymore in the current situation she's probably still posting hashtag in a way uh all of the pictures face and face 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 yeah and making it yeah. very clear uh that you guys are getting ready to go to a mundane party like it's some science experiment uh that's just waiting to go wrong uh yeah <laughs> as soon as we leave and turn <laughs> instaglam yes, yes. um yeah. as soon as we leave up. and turn the corner uh raven says oh wait wait hold on elizabeth and uh looks around and if there's no one watching she'll pull out her wand and put a toadstool patch on her jacket yes. perfect touch. Like, the girl behind it. the counter was like yeah. oh no 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 this was like after after mm -hmm. oh yeah oh, you didn't do it like it's like afterwards oh okay no she, i, I magicked it on mm. later on as like after we left we went around a corner i was like hold on hold on hold on close stuff yes i should oh, probably oh, do so this everybody can know that i'm part of the making society of north america yes totally that's exactly. it, definitely what it is but we all... i i was gonna cast shooting star on us but i don't think we need it we don't need it we look great Oh, Great. I need to do yeah, something before we well, meet though. up with the boys. So we look even so, better. All right, Florida let's do it. Takes off her glasses and then takes down all the curlers. And it's like totally like Marilyn Monroe. Oh, yeah. You get the like wave. Oh, Just my like God. 1930s waves. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hey. Is this another <laughs> slow motion uh, moment in the John Hughes movie as the hair like. Shh, shh. Yeah, uh, you know. Yeah. Let's do it. Like Let's she cast. Took off her glasses and undid her ponytail. Oh, mm. <laughs> oh, and God. that's when you notice yeah. that Loretta's glasses aren't actually functional. <laughs> Has she been lying to us the whole time? She wears them because they make her look smart. Seems like something do you a teenage girl out of the 40s who lived in a place called Daydream would think. <laughs> Oh, there's a diner right there. And it's like all the way down the street. Like, like only oh somebody. Loretta, like... did you Oh. Did you get contacts? No. I I don't really Oh, these. Um yeah, uh here, try them on. They're fake. Oh my gosh. Um Man, what? you could put a joke you could pull a joke on me. You could I... enchant those so that you can see slightly into the future. Ooh. It could be. But wouldn't that be confusing? Or maybe into the past? Yeah. Wouldn't that also be confusing? Just as I mean you could have different pairs and like put them on at different but, times. But if, you, if you made it like a like a fraction of a second into the future it would be like you had super reflexes well i, I do need to learn a bit a little bit more about enchanting but um maybe maybe when school goes back in session uh, i'll be able to uh learn how to do that but uh well, goes back in session yeah um well we're learning a lot right forever. now anyways it's yeah in, let's go right. um so yeah. how are we getting to this party all right, well, I am gonna cast. Well, yep. Yeah, we're I'm gonna, gonna cast before we do that. I'm gonna cast shining star on everybody. Okay, uh, let's see how shiny you are. All Not right. like vampire. I promise no glittering vampires. I also promise no glittering girls unless they want it. But you will I look hope. amazing. I do have a bottle of fairy glitter. Just wow. saying. That's intense. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what fairy glitter is like. Is it stuff up in the glitter like world? Well, it's um, it's, it's an item in which girls. Oh, it has actual stats. Yeah. Oh, we're <laughs> oh I thought you were just making it up. Fairy. I was like, I love that fairy glitter. Yeah, fairy oh. glitter. Yeah, um, no, I actually have fairy glitter amazing. in my equipment okay. right now. <laughs> All right, so let funny. me roll. Roll that. Uh, hang on. My godmother was here. She probably liked this. Magic plus. 
Magic oh, plus don't your say casting. Name too loud. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like Beetlejuice. Oh, one D ten. But shouldn't I say it loud if I want her here? Yeah, but she might be doing something more important than. Uh, well, then I wish I knew if she was free or not to come to this party with us. Sixteen. It works. You it in like. <sighs> It's that moment now when you first get seen, the five of you walking down the street towards the diner. There's a slow motion moment. Like, it, I can only imagine. Like, I only picture the craft for some reason. Though you're not any of you are dressed like that. It's that moment in I, Mean Girls where they're slow mo walking down the hallway. The it's wind on point. Picks up perfectly to like elegantly blow our hair. And then... mm -hmm. Yep. I want to see what this. Where do I find that? I want to know what this just... dust does. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. a page. Page 43. Oh, well, uh, if we didn't have Shining Star cast on us, we just basically have the wind just whipping it right into our faces. And yeah. <laughs> it also kind of makes it so you don't necessarily need to put on makeup either. So. And this fairy dust um, that we have, what does it do? Because I can't find it. Uh, oh, I'm not it using up. it. I was just oh, saying I, thought I you have it. Mm, well, I still want to know it. Well, oh, the fairy glitter? Yeah, 58. Fairy 58. Did I miss it? I was just on that page. It's fine. I'm the worst. I have to know things because <laughs> my luck. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. No, I did. Okay, I did read this. I remember. Okay. Fairy glitter makes all things more attractive. The magical quality just makes it look better. The effective sprinkle of fairy glitter lasts forever. If placed on a mundane or magical item on people, it lasts about an hour and grants a plus one on all social base scales. So, okay. That's pretty cool. It's permanent on items, which is really neat. Um, okay. You guys look uh, the part. Uh, and off you guys head. You arrive at the diner. Uh, they are not there yet. That's cool. It gives us more time to eat waffles and chicken before they get there. Yeah, um, are off. you guys going to have dinner with them first? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah don't don't <laughs> depend the on the food. Actually. Don't <laughs> depend that? on the food <laughs> at a teenage we, party. Yeah, we were going to... We, we said we were going to have dinner with them mm -hmm. before the party at the diner. Okay. Um, Are you sandwiches here? <laughs> well, not I mean, if you order some Texas toast and a plate of spaghetti, I'm sure you could. Totally. Yeah, I used to work yeah. here. So. You could even do just garlic bread. That'd probably be pretty good. That would be good. Oh, that garlic so bread good. with spaghetti, spaghetti in the middle? Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, now we know what we're uh, having for dinner. <laughs> well, now I know what the next witch girl's recipe is going to be. <laughs> I just thought Elizabeth would probably eat something weird and not good for her, but not know that it's weird. Yeah. All the carbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all, all the of carbs. them. The, the group Raven of... sees nothing wrong with this plan, no. though. Yeah. <laughs> She's just like, yeah, it sounds I mean, pretty good, We're actually. teenagers. We can do this. And once you reach, like, 25, the aging process yeah. basically stops for you because you can be whatever age you want. So, or, like, present yourself however you want. So, uh, the boys arrive uh, about 10 minutes later. They're about 10 minutes late. Uh, the Jeep pulls up along with a, another truck. Uh, because there are going to be a lot of you and you don't all fit in a jeep. Um, they come in. It, the group is, of course, being led by old, uh, what's his face? Brock. With Tyler and Toe. Brock and Tyler, that's right. Brock uh, is leading the way. And behind him are three additional uh, boys. Uh, they seem pretty normal. Uh, they aren't jock jock. Uh, Brock seems to be the only one that wears a letterman. Well, uh, him and Tyler. Tyler wears a basketball letterman. Uh, mm -hmm. Brock wears a, a football letterman. But the other three don't wear lettermans. Um, they are a kind of average. Most of them look about 15. Alright. No no facial hair, no 5 o'clock shadow. Like, nothing nothing like that. The, uh, uh, but, uh, the, yeah, they, they, they come waltzing in. Uh, are, are, That's what, an image. Uh, yeah, I get that. <laughs> uh, are you... Have you guys already gotten a table? Yeah, we would yeah. have gotten like one of the big corner tables yeah, that holds as yeah. many people as possible. Yeah, we would we would all be sitting around probably with drinks in front of us already. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, the Brock walks up and he's like, "Hey," he like leans on the table. Really glad you showed. Can we uh, join you, ladies? Sure. <laughs> yeah. 
Take what a seat. If we said no. <laughs> it would be the whole I'm not saying no, the... I'm just curious. The air like sucks out of the conversation. <laughs> Brock like kind of leans off the table where he was just so so gracefully trying to smooth on you and he goes, "Well, oh my I guess we'd have to go. But we're going to the party with or without you." No, She's I'm joking. Just... Oh, oh. Ha, 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 ha. he like looks to Tyler, who then chimes in laughing, and then Tyler looks to the three people behind them, who then are like, <laughs> "But, but like, imagine if you if you weren't either of us, and you were just watching us, and and you said that, and then we said no. You're overthinking how funny that, that been. Uh... <laughs> I lean over to um to Elizabeth says they're already scared as it is. I'm trying to make them feel more comfortable with humor. So, fun thing that happens. the When all this goes down, Brock looks at Tyler, Tyler looks to the boys. They all kind of get an awkward laugh. And When Elizabeth says that, Brock turns around and looks at one of the other three. He's, um, uh, he's, got, he's got glasses and uh, he wears... Uh, just kind of a basic denim uh, jacket and a striped shirt underneath. He seems pretty normal, but kind of a dorky. Uh, and clearly he's like last in the line of the five of them in terms of how they like Aww. walk and how dudes are. And he goes, uh, you, you can her. And, uh, he like perks up the, the one with the glasses. Uh, he kind of like gets a weird, awkward smile. Um, Tyler, like of course thuds Brock for being a total, uh, douche. Uh, but, uh, uh, he tries again and Brock goes, so, um, I mean, if we're, uh, we're <clears throat> if we're done with the whole thing, could we, like, you know, sit down? I'd like a waffle. Certainly, come on. <laughs> Good. I was gonna order something else. Right here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they kind of, like, scoot in. I'm sure there's, like, rearranging, uh, so everybody can get, uh, you know, sat. Uh, you're all served. Uh, Percy's uh, date uh, see, is, has kind of long hair. He's a bit uh, he's a bit kind of hippier uh, in his vibe. Um, and uh, such a diverse group. <laughs> yeah, such a diverse group of dudes. But uh, they do actually all uh, they're like friends. They actually are all friends. It's very clear. Um, it's not like he hired these guys to come to your dates. Uh, and uh, last but not least, uh, Jess. Uh, your date, what does your date look like? Oh, I don't, oh, whatever you think. Whatever like, I think? Okay, great. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. this one is, um, I was about to say, this I poor can keep, kid. I can this keep poor kid. giving you whatever, guys. Whatever he is, this poor kid. Um, no, he's actually, um, like I said, th all these kids, these three are pretty average, but uh, he, uh, he's a little taller than the rest um, and a little uh, broader of shoulder, but he, uh, he doesn't speak much. He seems rather quiet and brooding uh, under a baseball cap. Uh, mm. You did see him on the field today. Um, yeah, he played shortstop. And... Because that's, like, the only position I know. And, uh, yeah, you guys eat kind of cordially, I would hope. Um, is there anything you'd like to say to them while you lunch about together? So how about that local sports team? Um, like, Brock's kind of like, which one? Uh, that, like, really excites him. And Tyler's like, can we, like, not talk about <clears throat> sports? It's all you, <clears throat> it's all you talk about. <clears throat> okay, favorite classical composer? The guy next to you, uh, he kind of perks up as if he wants to answer. And Brock kind of gives him his eye, like, you're not going to do it, are you? You're not going to do it. I like Adam Kachaturian. He's very interesting. Um, does Chopin count as the uh, as classical composer, or is that the wrong is that the wrong uh, era of music history? I can't remember. You're right. I'm being oh, too narrow on my phone. He goes the 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 kid next to you that is your date with the glasses. He kind of like pushes him up and he goes, "Well, you know, I kind of like um, I'm a I'm a I'm a bit of a Brahms man myself." <clears throat> Very fond of Brahms. Such wonderful music. He kind of like, yeah. Uh, he kind of almost like shrinks in like the joy of the moment. This like juxtaposed way of like how his heart's like actually feeling, which is... Uh, and uh, Brock goes, Brahms? As if it's hard for him even to put the word out of his mouth. 
do you have a problem with Brahms? Uh, no, I like, I don't, I don't even know who that like is. You, you don't know your Germanic composers? Brahms is Brahms. He, he made frickin' the lullaby song. How do you not know Brahms? Uh, Tyler kind of smiles watching Elizabeth, uh, bring Brock down a few levels at the table. Um, he turns actually to Loretta at one point and he kind of goes, uh, <laughs> Brock goes, I mean, you don't clap, uh, do you know Brahms? Should I know Brahms? Do you want me to know Brahms? <laughs> Admittedly, <laughs> Admittedly, he's not my favorite. I mean, I prefer <laughs> Chopin myself, but if you really want to get into music, I mean, I'm more of a fan of uh, Irving Berlin, and and um, I'm a very, I'm very, very fond of. Uh, goodness. Me? Raven <laughs> chokes on her chicken, <laughs> just starts coughing and <laughs> cacking. Oh, are are you a composer too? Uh. <laughs> Jess is just mortified by everything. He's just like uh, he goes, um, I can be. You know, I uh, I, one time I played uh, the bass drum for a year That's... in band in middle school. Okay. And then they told me I like had no rhythm, which, whatever. Oh, you played oh. trumpet. He's not sure if he lied about that or not, because I'm not sure if I lied about that or not. The other kid. Uh, oh, said Tyler. That. Well, I mean, I used um, to sing with my uh, my last school's. Uh, well, not my last school, but my school before that, uh, jazz band when we had that going. But um, never actually had the chance to pick up the instrument myself. Tried playing piano, but it's just very hard to focus on it. Wow. I just like listening to the recording. You know, I like jazz too. Oh, you do? Uh, yeah, yeah, Mick Jazz, he's so cool. Did you see Mick... that YouTube video he, like, put out last week? Um... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh God, I think... Yeah, that's just like, oh... Yeah, I think, yeah, everybody's... Oh, no. Loretta just kind of smiles and nods. Yeah, it was, like, oh. so... Poignant. At least that's what somebody in the comments said, and I really resonated with, like, that. Oh, I, I know re I know resonation. Um, quite a bit. <laughs> Raven uh, sends a text message under the table to Percy. You better be getting this on video. Uh, <laughs> Percy, Percy, like look, I'm sure she looks at you across the table. Percy's probably already started posting this live. Okay, so, good. Uh, it's, it's a special mess, that's for sure. Or she's like she's live tweeting this. Uh, yeah, she's oh live. My God. Oh my god! Oh no. And uh, so Someone goes the conversation. Twitch section. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's straight live blogging this whole thing. Um, so uh, the, the, the dinner takes about an hour between the amount of pancakes that Brock manages to shove in his face. Uh, the Growing boy. Yeah, he's a grow. Yeah, right? He needs those calories, yes. Um, and uh, he goes, man, I like lifted like whole like a hundred pounds today i can i can almost like squat my own weight it was oh, like wow. it was leg day that's, that's impressive. impressive well he kind of looks at just like oh you, uh you know um kind of like yeah yeah it is it, it is impressive um and the conversation dwindles until brock is ready to go to this party uh clearly the boys rally behind him uh Tyler asked, uh, Raven, um, uh, are you like, <clears throat> can I, um, <clears throat> would you like to ride with me? I oh, I was my, gonna... I brought my truck. <clears throat> oh, I was gonna ask if, if you wanted to ride on my Vespa with me. Oh. Uh, um. Uh, yeah. He kind of, like, smiles again. Everybody, the guys at the table are like, riding on her Vespa. And he goes, oh, um. But I mean, if you have your truck, I, I wouldn't want you to like leave it here. And, oh, you know, oh, that way other oh, people. Um, no, no, no. He starts like digging in his pockets for his keys. He pulls his keys out like super fast, and he puts them in the face of Jess's date. He goes, "Um, Benny." He drops them. You, you, you drive the truck. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. You, you drive the truck. Uh, he says again, and uh, yeah. And so, uh, it looks like Benny's gonna be driving the truck. Obviously, Brock has the Jeep. No, 
I'm making sure I'm writing everybody down. No. <laughs> Uh, Benny, yep. Percy's date, uh, I don't, it doesn't, I guess the name to that date doesn't matter at the moment, but we'll get there. And then, uh, let's see, I need a good name for Kika's date. Uh, oh, this is Kyle. Kyle. Right, oh, Percy's, it. Percy's date's, uh, Winston. Oh. What a name. They call him, it's Winnie and Benny. I'm pretty sure Benny loves this. Like, it's all of it's this. yeah okay. It's Brock, Tyler, oh. Benny, Winnie, and Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> These are your dates for the night, ladies. <laughs> um, uh, or at least the ones escorting you to the party. Who you choose to continue to date? Well, that's that's on you. Uh, oh my god. god! I just I just imagined like yeah, Benny's just like. It's just like, I just want to be called Ben. I don't want to be called Benny because it's just Benny and Winnie. I don't want this. Yeah, he's like, he always wants to be called Ben, but they, everybody calls him Benny. And Winston yeah. really just wants to be, never wants to tell anybody his name. Um, yeah. Uh, but that being said, uh, yeah. <laughs> this is hippie. Um, off you guys set. Now, if Benny is driving the truck, I'm going to, are you going to ride with him, Jess? Yeah, I'll do it. Uh, I'm writing everybody. Who's paired with who? So I know what's going on here. Uh, Tyler is obviously going to be on the Vespa. Are you riding in the Jeep, I'm guessing, then, Loretta? Mm-hmm. She, she has to keep playing the part. She has to keep... You're the, you are a brave woman. Uh, yes, you are. Such a good woman. <sighs> Kyle. She's a woman who dates immortals. I mean, she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, I, oh, this poor date has to measure up to... to I was about to say, these, oh, these, no, tough, if you think these guys tough... are brave enough to do anything, then you're kidding yourself. They're they're, I, uh, I, I mean, fear. they couldn't handle us anyways, yeah, even on a bad peacocks. day. I mean, <laughs> Lana doesn't need even, anyone to yeah, protect her. Yeah, Brock couldn't even <laughs> catch a football, so... Um, so yeah, she, she okay. doesn't need she doesn't need Brock to protect her. That's what she has Elizabeth for. I mean, <laughs> yep, <laughs> it's true. Uh, Elizabeth's her boyfriend's r former roommate, and and she has a sword. I mean, so um, Elizabeth she uh, killed Dracula. I mean, come on, <laughs> Elizabeth is all of our hero. Okay, <laughs> yes, hero. What vehicle are you riding in? The one that doesn't have Brock in it. Okay, so you choose the truck. <laughs> All right, uh, this is great. So Kyle and Benny and Jess and Loretta are in the truck, uh, leaving poor Loretta in the Jeep. Uh, the good news is your hair blows. This beautiful 40s curls are just like in the wind uh, as you Oh, I needed the scarf now, just kind of <laughs> waving. Yes. Slow-mo. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Where Elizabeth's scarf. It's true. I'm surprised okay. you left home without one. Never leave home without your scarf. <laughs> And off you set. It's not very far. Uh, you drive into some of the residential of this town, which sits on kind of the outskirts. You drive about 10 minutes. Uh, it's very quaint. Uh, this little um, kind of northeastern uh, town. It probably feels something between, like, you know, the way Connecticut's all well kept and houses are set into hillsides and, and, and mountainsides. And um, it's really beautiful this time of year. Uh, and the house you pull up to is nothing to bat an eyelash at. Mm -hmm. uh, it is definitely suburbia home, but it is really nice. And uh, on the way, mm -hmm. I wanted to have a conversation with Tyler real quick. Perfect. You go for it. Just saying. Um, so Raven uh, kind of lets a little distance go between them and the noise of the truck and the Jeep. Uh, so that it's it's easier to talk to him. Uh, she's not trying to scare him this time. And she says, um, Tyler, you are you really good friends with Brock? He seems like kind of a jerk. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, he can't. He's a... He's like kind of been my, my best friend since childhood, and I kind of was not cool enough for him, and then one day he was all like, he must be friends again, and so I... No. I mean, well, he, I, <clears throat> I would have never even talked to you if it wasn't for Brock. <clears throat> well, maybe, but maybe not. And just remember, you know, the friends you keep say a lot about you, and I like you more without him. 
You like me? Like, and like, then I rub the engine. Like, oh! <laughs> and he like kind of hangs on. His legs like sprawl out from the side. He's he's very much too tall to be riding these. He's a he's a he's a little sixteen year old basketball player. Um, as you speed behind. Now, Loretta, you're in the car. Actually, Percy's in the car with you. Uh, she would have taken the jeep for for space purposes. So, uh, Loretta and uh, Brock sit in the front while. Winston and Percy, <laughs> Winnie, oh Winnie, uh, sit in the back. The Jeep, he's clearly taken the doors off. Oh, you're going to love this, Catherine. I'm going to do this just for you. The Jeep oh, is orange. Oh. <laughs> the doors are off of it. Uh, oh, he's not, dressed like, yo, he's he not is. dressed like an 80s gym teacher, is he? <laughs> he's not. He's not. He's not. Uh, just in case RX students watch this, I'll be kinder. Uh <laughs> The Jeep is orange, uh, the doors are off of it, and uh, because the wind is, like, blowing, you can't quite hear what Percy and Winnie are talking about, but they seem to be in, in conversation uh, together. Um, she shows him something on a phone, he kind of, like, looks at her, he breaks his phone out, it's a flip phone? Like, he clearly does not play into the whole uh, technology vibe. Um, he's a little too granola for that, I think. Um... Yeah, and uh, you're able to have a chat if you would like in any way with the great Brock. He like drives. Oh. Like... So it's it's good to see that you recovered from last night. I know that it was a bit rough. Uh, you know nothing. He, he kind of realizes he's driving with both hands, and he like, you know, uh, puts one down. I, just a little Gatorade is what I say. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I I'm glad to see you're back to good health. Um, so, I don't really know much about this uh, party we're going to, other than it's just a party with everybody. Uh, who's actually throwing it? Oh, did I give that girl a name? He doesn't have to know her name, I imagine. <laughs> he would know her name, though, because she's the popular girl. Didn't I name her? She was like Debbie. She Debbie. I don't think you no, told that us was her name. Debbie oh, perfect. was the opposite. Okay. Was the officer. That's right. That's how I knew it. Okay, perfect. Then I, okay. Then I won't lose that one. Okay. Uh, he says, oh, yeah, Monica. Yeah. She's a total drag. Really? Um. Yeah, you know, we snogged for a while. And, uh, yeah, she just kind of, like, stopped liking me. And then she, you know, it's fine. Whatever. It's not like she hasn't dated every guy on the football team. He seems a bit sore. Well, I mean, maybe she just has to find out what everyone's like so she can realize how much she missed by not being with you anymore. <laughs> he switches hands. So he can put this one around your shoulder uh, as he drives. He, you know... He doesn't pull you close or anything, but he just kind of puts his arm around you. Uh, and he says, you, you really like me. I appreciate your company. Yeah, I don't hear that very much. Well, that's because there's not that many polite people around your school. Right? Like, I am so kind all the time to people. And I don't understand why everybody's always like, oh, here he comes, Brock, just trying to, like, you know, ruin everything. I, I'm, I try. I try. Of course. Sometimes. I mean, we are completely new to your school, and you invited us to a party that we didn't really know anybody at. That's very kind of you. Yeah. And, yeah, as as well in finding dates for all of your friends. Yeah. I mean, that, that I'm was a giving very, guy. <laughs> that was very nice of you. I mean, especially since, like you said, like I said, we don't really know about anybody around, and and uh, you just accepted us for who we were just upon meeting us. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, I I did do that. Um, and uh, uh, he's very proud of himself. Uh, for that, and uh, he kind of uh, you do feel him like just cup his hand around your shoulder uh, with a little squeeze. And he goes, you know, for the first time, like ever. I'm really glad I'm not dating Monica anymore. Because then we couldn't, like, go to this party together. 
well, I'm glad that you're having a good time. Yeah. And he, like, <laughs> turns the music up on the Jeep as it, like, poof, speeds off uh, towards uh, this place. Uh, anything that happens with Chess. And uh, it's Jess and Elizabeth are in the truck. Yeah, yeah. You guys are in a closed uh, vehicle, so you can actually have a conversation. Like, all four of you can hear one another. Mm. So, Kyle, what's your last name? Uh, well, I'm... <sighs> he kind of pushes his... I'm Kyle McMillan. McMillan, is that a good family? Um, w w uh, my mom says we're sc Scottish or something. Ah. Huh. I'm French and Portuguese, mostly. Cool. I am. Um, <clears throat> I think it's cool that you like music. Well, I mean, who doesn't like music? It's the way, it's the means through which we've been expressing emotion to one another since before even we had history. <laughs> He's like slowly leaning in closer as you're talking about music. So he's like, yeah, yes. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I feel that way, yeah. You know, I play violin. You play violin, that's amazing. Yeah. I I'm I'm first seat in the band. <laughs> they have violins in band? Uh, well, they, they do at our school because we don't really have a band. It's just really me and like a few other people, but I'm first chair. That's really cool. Yeah. You're the only person that ever says that. Well, if other people don't understand that it's cool, then they're dumb. <sighs> yeah. He kind of smiles awkwardly at you from underneath his glasses. He he pushes him up again on his nose. So, um, are you gonna you gonna come to 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 Willow Mist High? Please, you're gonna come to uh, be a, a student. Oh, well, I am considering it. Ultimately, it would be up to my parents, really. Oh, yeah. But I, you, got, you got hard probably. parental units? Yeah. Were... Yeah, yeah, you know, um, they come from very... Well, my dad comes from a very um, strict upper-class family, so there's a lot of uh, rules and formalities and... Oh. You know, I had a friend one time who was the son of a preacher man, and he he was kind of like that. I I personally don't have much <laughs> in, like experience with that whole function the area, but um, <laughs> I, I suppose if you say that it is similar, then I will take your word for it. Uh, oh, he kind of like he kind of giggles and shudders again, as if like maybe he was too awkward or like went too far he uh, he he's kind of like so um, i'm really glad you're coming with me to this i'm not good at parties i've only ever been to very formal events so i'm excited to go to my first you know actual party with people my age hey this is like my first real party too oh cool if, if it ends up sucking, we can just leave and go do something fun, okay? He gets dry mouth at the word sucking. Oh, uh, and, um, he, he, um, he's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm living out all my teenage angst right now on screen in front You're of everyone live on Twitch. Not family friendly. <laughs> this is definitely not. Um, this episode, this episode's a learning experience for all you <laughs> teenagers out there. But just know we got from where you are to right here not that different <laughs> no honestly no no i can't decide if this is the episode i tell my daughter to skip watching or not oh god, oh god. it's all right we're we're doing okay he's like um we're doing all right so far we've we maintained pg status thus oh my goodness i need some fresh air all right um uh, I'm, gonna, I'm getting the vapors. Getting the vapors, yeah. <laughs> I might have to like cut all the like PG thirteen oh stuff gosh. and make that Patreon only. Um, <laughs> so the uh, he he kind of you know he he seems very genuine and he probably doesn't talk to very many girls uh, very often. Uh, he reaches in his pocket uh, and he pulls out a uh, 
he pulls out some taffy. Like, not just, like, straight taffy. Like, it's, like, wrapped, like a piece of wrapped taffy. And he kind of, like, opens it up and he, he stretches it apart and he offers Elizabeth some. That's immediately going in her mouth. Yeah. <laughs> and he kind of, like, pops it into. You can tell he's got a retainer and kind of, like, sticks a little bit. It's kind of awkward. And he smiles at you. He's, he, like, munches this banana taffy. Uh, and I'm guessing you munch it back. It's kind of cute. Um, yeah. And he kind of tries to talk. He's like, you know, I'm kind of the youngest of all the guys, so they don't really... Excuse me. They, like, really like me all the time. They, I think they keep me around just to pick on me. I'm the youngest in my group, but they are very protective of me. So I, I, I think if they picked on me, I would probably fight them. It's only because I'm Benny's little brother. Well, at some point, maybe you need to. Oh. Break away from Benny and find your own social group. <sighs> yeah, that'd be cool. More than likely, Benny's probably a junior and he's a, a freshman. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's probably somewhere between 14 and 15. Uh, Kyle is. Um, which, I guess, great, I have last names for everybody now. Kyle was McMillan. It is also Benny McMillan. Benny. It's actually Benjamin McMillan. He wants to go by Ben, and everybody calls him Benny. Uh, and uh, he kind of says, "You know, you want to, um, you want to listen to some classical music." Yeah, what do you got? Cool. And he like pulls out uh, an MP3 player uh, and hands you one earbud, and he takes the other one and like plugs it in. And he says, well, "I don't know." I you pick, and he passes it over uh, and lets you pick this song. He has a very large uh, array of classical music um, that you guys can listen to on the way to this party. Do you have the waltz from Masquerade by Arm Tutorian? I love that one. And he's like, I've got it on this one playlist I put together, and he kind of like pushes his glasses up again, and he's like scrolling, 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 and he finds it and clicks, and it begins to play in your ears as the camera cuts to the front of the vehicle where Jess rides shotgun alongside Benny. Yeah. Um, I think I think uh, Jesse would be like Benny. Yeah. Do you know what kind of party this is? This a party or is it a party? I heard that there was gonna maybe be a keg, but I don't know. <sighs> All right. <laughs> He kind of, like, broods. He pulls his hat down a little bit more. He's like, but, you know, it would be cool to have some beer. I could pour you a beer. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> be a good party. And then she'll be like, God, it's been a while since I've been in the truck. It's usually where I came from. Everybody wears all these tiny, tiny, tiny cars. It's been a while. My mom drives a tiny car. They make that noise, right? They putter. Sounds like a choy. It's like a putter. Mm. That's the best vocabulary word I could use to describe it. I think at that point, um, Jess sees, like, Elizabeth and, like, them <laughs> sharing, like, the uh, thing. And she'll be, like, she'll kind of nudge Benny and just kind of, like, look in the rear view. It's like, oh, here, good brother, at least. Yeah, they're sharing an earbud. <laughs> um, which is something that's for sure um and uh he kind of looks in the rear view you see him adjust to see what it is that you see and he says kyle's never shared an earbud before i don't think elizabeth has either cool cool so do you like music yeah do you like other things? Yeah. Yeah, Benny. Like, I do. Maybe what? You know. Punk. I go with the I used to sneak out and go to the go to the concert thing every once in a while, so He goes, No way. Yeah. And I used he to sneak out. Pulls his sleeve back and the sixteen year old has a tattoo. He goes, Yeah. I snuck out one time and went to this amazing concert and had this guy put this on me in a back room. He's like, check it. And he reaches up to the radio and turns it on. And it is like yeah. full on like, like punk music. And he kind of like begins like 
rocking up to the yeah. punk music, you have found his inner love. Uh, yeah. Like, uh. you have found the punk uh, in him. And he begins just, like, really giving it all he's got uh, behind the wheel while driving. Uh, listening to punk music, of course. And uh, maybe one better reason while they're listening to classical in the back. And uh, he kind of turns it down after that. He's like, I love these guys. I am going to... Um... I don't know what spell that would be, just to kind of maybe dampen it for the two of them oh, back yeah, there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, you, there, now, remember, one of the things we've not really um, attempted in Witch Girls is to write spells. You mm -hmm. can create spells. So if you feel like this is a moment where maybe you want to dampen something, uh, we yeah. can always narrate how maybe just make something, excuse me, I, up. I do know there's a silent spell, I feel like. Yeah. What is that under? Um, that's... I, I, or it could be like a... It could be a side effect of protection, maybe, like, keep the volume. Yes, I love that. That's perfect. Uh, yeah, keep the volume down. Uh, and it will be a protection spell, so it'll act kind of like a protection shield, but specifically for a sound. Um, so use that, your casting die, add any bonuses. Unfortunately, your jinx is not around. You're on your own uh. with this truck. All right. Um, Dang. All right. <sighs> Dang! That's a perfect sound barrier. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it kicks up, and Elizabeth, you do hear it, uh, and you quickly see Jess just turn around, and it dampens it so that you, the two of you can continue to enjoy your classical music. And uh, he eventually does turn it down as well so that he can keep talking to you, but he, see, he kind of yells over it now. He goes, yeah, I love these guys! Yeah. Yeah, let's, yeah, Jess is gonna do the same thing. She's gonna, she's gonna do the, she's gonna do the really kind of like annoying teenager thing of roll down the windows, turn it up, and just kind of like. Yes, kind of he hand. loves that. Yeah, he rolls his down too. He even puts that up a hand for a high five. Yeah, like full on high five. Yeah, uh, Jess is like so high five. Yeah, high behind five. Behind them, Raven starts complaining about how she doesn't like this music. <laughs> I think that, at this point, him, like, like glaring out the window, Jess has um, Jess has her jacket taken off like around her around her waist but like she can he, she also has like a tattoo she has like the symbol for air on her surrounded oh, by like nice. a wolf skull okay um let's oh our number's not right we're our bar is slow our drama bar is slowly <laughs> inching like you are towards this party um and uh yeah the the rest of the, the oh did it go through i heard that roll it didn't show up Did you roll? It bleeped like it did. Um, okay. Yeah, the rest of the evening goes, or the ride goes off pretty smoothly um, as all of you travel towards this house. Like I said, you pull up to a home uh, that is pretty impressive. There's a circular driveway in the front, and you can see from just the amount of, of silhouettes in the open windows and the way that the lights flash that the party has already started. They very they help you out of the vehicles. Uh, you know, Brock of course like reaches for Loretta's hand. Uh, I'm sure that Kyle probably stumbles out the back of a truck, no doubt, a two door as he tries to like come out of the back seat. He trips on a seatbelt, like it's it's a whole thing. Um, I imagine that if these five guys lined up, they would actually be like the future versions of the Goonies. Like they definitely are an odd group of friends, but they've been friends forever, uh, and so like. It, it's just like, yeah, there's just a weird, a little eclectic group. Um, Percy and Winnie, uh, as soon as they pretty much get out of the car, take to themselves. Um, they walk off together, uh, off to, like, uh, into the party, but off to the side. And um, still seem to be conversing uh, pretty openly. Uh, Percy gives you a nod of, like, I'm safe. I'm good, uh, and uh, kind of walks away from the four of you, uh, leaving mm -hmm. uh, you and your date staring at the front entrance of this two-story, white, uh, kind of New England-style home. All right. Jess will knock on the door, just kind of like, just rap on it, really. Well, I, I was going to say before we even got, uh, whose house is this? Um, I believe it was Monica's, you said? It is Monica's. And, oh, uh, that's the girl from this morning. Oh, oh, her. I, I think. Her oh, I, all right. Well, doesn't matter. It's a party. Let's go inside. 
All right. You swing the door open. You're met with a wall of sound, uh, both the voices of people and the thud, 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 an occasional bass drop of poorly put together uh, music. There is a high schooler that's like learning the art of being a DJ here at this party, but nobody here seems to care. The fact that there's just music is enough. Uh, as you enter, you come into a foyer. There is a staircase directly in front of you that goes up to the second floor. Uh, then there's a small mm -hmm. hallway that seems to go to the back, probably where um, maybe downstairs rooms are a restroom or two. Then on the left and right, there are wings. The house is shaped like a T, uh, to give you a little bit more reference. Uh, the wing to the left um, opens up into a giant space, um, a massive living room uh, where furniture has been pushed to the side, where the DJ is, and there's a dance floor. It seems to connect to the kitchen, uh, maybe like up and around the corner a little bit. The space to the right also has people mingling. This probably is more of like a sitting room and a library. Uh, there are books that line the walls, but people have, again, pushed everything to the side. Uh, they're mingling about. They're leaving stuff everywhere. The trash has already begun to accumulate. Um, and all eyes hit the four of you as and your dates as you enter uh, the space. Though, of course, there's no, like, scratching of record or anything like that. Because they don't know how to do that. Because he hasn't learned that skill yet. <laughs> But wait till he does. It will be all ricka ricka. Sorry. <laughs> I'm the worst. Um, oh I God. will just kind of take Tyler's uh, arm and just kind of continue walking in. Okay. Yeah. Um, because you walk in like you own the place. <laughs> that's right. And you guys look great. The guys note it. The girls note it. Uh, Tyler offers you his arm. Most of these, th your dates do. Um, Loretta, you got stuck with Brock. Uh, but he is being a gentleman. He has not done anything ungentlemanly. Um, I think your conversation in the car actually has turned him around a little bit since the night before. He seems to be significantly more humbled uh, by you. Um, and, uh, yeah. Yeah. There is a keg in the kitchen. People are drinking. Because that's unfortunately what high schoolers do. But somebody whispers, um, actually, you're going to have to, who's got our gossip? Who's our gossiper? Because I'm going to have you, okay, Loretta, as you walk around the party, as you guys kind of enter, your ears begin to tune into the gossip. You know that this is the prime place for secrets and things to be passed. Okay. I'm going to love this. Okay. So uh, what do I need to roll? This would be a... I think it's a social oh. plus. Oh, social. It's okay. social. Um, I, um, actually, yeah. let me do a sense die. This is sense because it's what you hear, but you get to mm. add your gossip roll to it or your gossip. Okay. Points. Because I see gossip is normally a social roll, but it's usually uh, social. You're not in social, and you're actually listening for for cues. Okay. So I'll let you do. Yeah, let's do a sense die. I, this is kind of an odd roll, and then your plus your social uh, plus your gossip. Okay. Because this ought to be. This will be interesting. Da, 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 da. Okay, seven. at a seven. Um, the kids here uh, are drinking. That's pretty obvious. Uh, but you're pretty sure you heard uh, two guys as you walk past them kind of going into to the left into the living room area say, um, this beer, it tastes weird. Like, oh. I've had like three cups and like, I don't even feel buzzed. And the other guy's like, dude, there's no way you had three cups and don't feel anything, man. Hmm. <laughs> That's really funny because one of the things that Raven wanted to do was make the alcohol non-alcoholic. It, yeah, it looks like somebody's <laughs> probably lying to all of these kids and they're just having a good time, but there's this non-alcoholic beer. Cool, because that, Raven had, was going to do that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. As long as no one eats the fruit in the punch bowl, we're golden. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, this is um actually pr uh, well stocked. Like the bar in the kitchen, this kitchen is beautiful. Um, and the bar in the kitchen is full of snacks and things that clearly Monica has probably purchased or had catered in some way. Um, people drink. Uh, you know they're pouring drinks from this keg of non-alcoholic beer. Oh, uh, Brock, would you like to go get a drink? Would I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and he kind of like, he grabs you by the hand, uh, no locked fingers, but just kind of by the hand and uh, brings you uh, towards the kitchen. 
What is everybody up to? Elizabeth will ask Kyle to dance. What? I mean... Well, it's, a par it's a party. You're supposed to dance at these things, right? Uh... Uh, I only ever dance with, uh, in the mirror with myself. I mean, uh, I don't ever oh. dance. Oh. Well, you need to start sometime, I figure. C cool. Can you teach me? No. Cool. I you learn things very fast. Let's do Good. it. <laughs> He's like, don't miss the opportunity. Um, and he kind of puts both of his hands out, uh, as if to offer you hands to go to the dance floor. But I'm actually pretty sure you drag him onto the dance floor, not vice versa. Um, uh, he's a smidge awkward. Uh, I'll, I'll be really honest with you, but he tries. He's just glad to be holding hands with a girl. Um, and one that's not so nice to him. Um, do, do I roll for dance? Yeah, if you have dance, please roll for dance. I did not even know that was a skill. I guess it, it is. is a skill. It, it is, is a skill. skill. Yeah. It's a mundane skill. It's isn't on it? there. Yeah. Not one of my best, but oh. it's a seven. A seven. You are, one, you're not drawing attention to yourself, so that's plus plus. Two, your dancing is enough to make him feel significantly more comfortable. Uh, let's see how he does. Oops, I did not mean to roll two of those. We'll take the first one, not the last one. Uh, two and a one is a three. He only rolls a three. He's struggling. Uh, he's got two left feet. He's not in marching band. He plays a violin. Uh, so that's something. But, uh, yeah, he, he, uh... He seems to be having a good time regardless. Uh, he can't keep his eyes off you. He keeps like pushing his glasses up on his nose because he's sweating and they're sliding down. The bane of all people that wear glasses. And you, uh, yeah, you guys are having a pretty good time. Uh, there are a few girls on the dance floor that are doing some really interesting uh, dance moves. Probably things they've seen in music videos. Uh, they're trying to replicate um, or make eye contact with the DJ. And they're like, yeah! Uh, they're the front front row dancers uh, here on the dance floor. Uh, but you guys have a good time. What about Jess? I think Jess, is, Jess and um, Benny are just going to go, first of all, check out this keg, see what it's like, and then decide not to. It's like, well, let's, let's make this worth our while. Let's eat something, and let's dance. He goes... He like nods again. Uh, now out without the music, he he his voice goes back to that kind of uh, dropped, uh, uh, hidden shadowed way, and he kind of goes, "Yeah, that cool. Sh I like pigs and blankets." Let's see what they got. Yeah. I mean the. He's, he drinks a disappointment. Yeah. But let's see what. He's they clearly have. a little bit of a rebel. He's his head, uh, the mm -hmm. sides are shaved. He has a a very short like mohawk, um, mm -hmm. uh, and and he's like cool. Uh, his hoodie uh, kind of pulled tight around him. Uh, he walks up and they're pigs and blankets, of course, because that's like a staple. And he kind of shoves one too many in his mouth, unconcerned uh, by anybody here that's judging him. Yeah. I think him and Jess both just like just go. Wow, yeah, hey, wire. Yeah, you guys. There's always those people that bond over the food at parties, and you guys are <laughs> doing just that. He like eats something, and he like nods like yeah, yeah, yeah. Have some of that, and uh, vice versa. And the eats are good. She definitely had this catered. This is not like she did this in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, so just because it's, it's just enduring. It's been a while since she's been at a mundane party and had like gross mundane like snacks. Snacks. Yeah. Teen, teen snacks. Yeah, he's like shoving Cheetos in his face. Uh, some Twizzlers are hanging out one side. It's a mess. Um, <sighs> what about what? What about Raven and Tyler? Well, Raven probably would have gone to. Um, she was going to attempt to make the beer non-alcoholic. Um, would she have heard someone saying that too? Loretta that heard just that. Loretta thing? Yeah, it would just okay. be Loretta. So you can you can like double emphasize if you feel like I said it. it you would not know. So if your plan was to make it non-alcoholic, you could definitely do so. That's exactly what Raven was gonna do. She was going to like uh, try to make her way over to it. You know, yeah. let's get a drink. That'll be great. And uh, like as Tyler has his back turned, she just like pull out her wand and very sneakily just make the whole thing not alcoholic. Not alcoholic. All right, cool. I'm gonna say there's a few things this could be. You could treat the magic like it's um, 
like an anti-poison yeah like an anti-poison so you could treat it like that yeah absolutely okay. uh wow. you read my mind so that yeah you could do it that way i would say too you could do a protection spell you could treat it like a protection spell um okay. or you could do alteration and alter it to just be like flavored water like from that's turning probably, wine to water that's probably what uh she'd do is okay. is just made it uh she she would have made it uh cream soda she would ch- change it to cream soda flavored beer or beer flavored cream soda beer flavored cream so i'm here <laughs> uh. for that um thanks for that yes. subscription out there um, yes. So she's going to alter it from beer to beer flavored cream soda. All right. Yeah, you um you alter it. Um, let's get that roll. So, magic die, uh, the level and your casting modifier as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Nicely 18. done. Yeah. It, when you go to Cassic, you actually get a little bit of a read on it. The good news is it was non-alcoholic beer, but it still tasted like horse pee, as most beer does. Um, or at least for somebody that is a teenager that's never had any. Um, and if you've ever had to drink non-alcoholic beer, dear Lord, it's bad news. It just tastes foul. Uh, so you recognize that it, it is non-alcoholic, but decide that the least you can do is make it taste good. So you spruce up the flavor, shifting it uh, into one more non-alcoholic. So most people don't realize non-alcoholic beer is still like just a little bit. Now it is like like point one percent alcohol. Yeah, it's like point one, like so low. This is none. You have wiped it clean. This is a zero percent alcohol, Um, and uh, it is some kind of cream soda flavor. And you've you have you've made something pretty fine here. It tastes yep. really good. Um, and yeah. you actually hear somebody say, man, this is, this is like getting better every time I drink it. Uh, Raven will sneak that wand back in her, her <laughs> boot. And, uh, or I guess she, she's, she's wearing high top. She sneaks it back in her high top and, uh, continues drinking and, uh, will probably grab some snacks before, you know, just moseying around and trying to get a lay of the how every everything works here Mm, okay yeah you kind of start taking things in there there are definitely clicks happening there are people that are hanging out in certain places drinking games are taking place over on the dining room table um but all in all it's like pretty average mundane party especially for somebody that knows mundania uh, now, for somebody like Elizabeth or Loretta, this is all probably real fresh. Um, like, this is all very new to you. Um, it's very laid back. Everybody's extremely loud. Everybody's trying to get everybody else's attention. There's music going on over here. There are people sitting on furniture that's not supposed to be sat on. Uh, they're dancing and kind of, you know, undulating in each other's spaces. And it's kind of awkward teenage stuff. And uh, the... Uh, Brock, actually, after kind of offering you a drink, you and him are near the kitchen. Uh, he goes, oh, oh no. As he kind of looks, uh, and there's somebody walking up. You can hear the click of their feet, Loretta. Oh, is everything okay? Um, I know the, uh, I didn't know that they made cream, I uh, put cream soda in kegs. Did you know that? He goes, uh... It, have you tried it? It's, it's really good. He goes, yeah, I just, I, I, yeah, here. Uh, and he pours himself into it and like, look, 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 sit down. He goes, I'm going to need it. As he points and directly behind you walks up Monica. She goes, Ugh, I thought, Brock, I told you, you weren't invited. Oh. <gasps> and she's not like invited. Oh, I'm very sorry. I was under the uh, understanding that Brock was. Um, Brock goes, you know, I'm invited to all the parties. Oh, so it's an open invite. She goes, like, no. Well, that I am very sorry to hear that. Um, Here, let me make amends for you, Monica. Um, Do you like ice cream floats? And uh, Loretta just kind of scoops in some ice cream and pours in some cream soda, adds a little bit of a cherry. And uh, orange twist. She goes, did and, she uh, just, like, go to my fridge and make me a cream soda? Because that's cool and tasty, but also, like... 
I thought there would be ice cream outs uh, put out because uh, of the party. Um, okay, I'll give you that. It's not a usual high school like ice cream on the table, but I'll give it to you. Sure. Go for it. Coke floats. Or cream soda beer floats? Cream now, soda I mean, non-alcoholic normally... floats. I mean, normally I make this with root beer. I mean, it's, um... It's, it's beer uh, soda. Randall's <laughs> favorite over the diner. But, uh... I mean, I can also, um... Cook up something real quick to add on to the party. I noticed the food's getting a little low. She goes, yeah. And she, like, takes it from you, takes the shake from you, looks at it, and then passes it back to a girl behind her. Uh, the girl behind her, Jess, you're near the kitchen area. Be- uh, eating, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the girl behind her is extremely, uh, uh, recognizable, at least to oh. you. And she kind of, like, grabs his float and is like, um, okay. I think Jess just, like, she's probably just, like, <laughs> um, oh. I don't think she's noticed you yet. Uh, she's oh, definitely... Jess noticed her, but maybe she didn't. She hasn't she didn't. noticed you, that's for sure, because she's actually, um, she's in the kitchen and the, the food table's actually behind you, so you've, like, seen her grab this float, uh, from her, but, uh, she hasn't seen you yet. Yeah, um, Jess is just gonna go up to, uh, just gonna wish Brittany, sorry, I have to do something, I'll be right back. She, um, she's gonna go to the kitchen. You walk into the kitchen and you make eye contact with Allison, who is holding this coat float and it's like, as you walk in, like jaw on floor. Um, Monica's still talking. Uh, she's kind of gabbing at this point. She's like, so, you know, I don't mean to be uh, the bearer of bad news and I'm definitely oh, not course. gonna be, you know, uh, the rain on my own party, but like, you were not nice today. At school. And she kind of points right at you, Loretta. I do apologize. I mean, I'm still very new to this school, and I am also very much on the defensive, because the people at my last school, well, they weren't very nice. And when I overheard what you and your friends were saying about my friends and I, I just... I overreacted. So... I do apologize, and if there's any way I can make it up for you, I understand that we are new to this place, and um, we were not actually invited to this party, it seems. So, I completely understand I wouldn't want to intrude. Now, um, Brock and I can just go and find something else to do with our evening. Brock says, wait, whoa, no, like, don't apologize to her. But I was very rude. She is right. Well, she's rude all the time. And and she goes, ah! And he's like, ah! 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 And they're kind of back and forth in this, like, caught in this, like, angsty teenage sigh fest. And, um, and Brock goes, I mean, we don't have to leave if you don't want to, Loretta. It was an open party, is what I heard. Is that true? She, like, her eyes kind of raise, and she goes, I mean, like, it was, I guess. Tell you what, Monica, um, you know, we seem to have gotten off to a really bad start. Um, I'm very good, I, I used to work over at the diner in town, and if you, um, tell Randall there that Loretta sent you, I'm sure that he'll give you a lunch on the house. She kind of like looked, she's like, okay. It's I'll, I'll cover it this cool, time. Cool, I guess. I mean, it'd be nice to get my lattes for free. It is the only place in town. I know, right? I know, right? Especially if you get it with the hazelnut syrup. Just Mm, so good. She goes, right? I get two squirts of hazelnut. Oh, what you really want to try at some point is uh, hazelnut with maple syrup. It, it will blow your mind. Oh, Absolutely bonkers. She goes, you know, sometimes I really like it when they only do, like, light whip on top, but then they add extra whole milk. Um, and she's kind of, like, like talking you through this. Brock is going, what is happening? He's very confused. It just, like, things took a straight right-hand turn in the weirdest way. Um, as she seems to be warming up to you, Monica does. Uh, 
the Coke float begins to melt over the hands of Allison, who stands there holding uh, obediently behind Monica uh, this Coke float that uh, Loretta put together, this, uh, this uh, <laughs> cream soda float. She oh, says nothing to uh, Jess. She simply stares at you. Oh, that's a better reaction than I thought I was going to get. I'm nice seeing you. What are you doing here? Just came for a party. Yeah. A party that you're definitely not supposed to be at. I know. So remind me again why you're here. And I'm why just, you haven't talked to me my in friends. a year, and you just I'm sorry. ghosted me, and you, and you invited me to this dance, and then... Do you know that I... It's like she can't even get her words out. She's just frustrated. Yeah, yeah just, just she his starts posture binge is... She eating this, yeah. this float. Just his posture is different. Like, she's kind of, like, doing that, like, nervous arm, like, kind of, like, grabbing at the elbow and stuff like that. Like, she's a little, little more, like, hunched over. <sighs> she's kind of like, I... I'm glad to know you... You survived. Yeah, I know. I'm glad you're you're okay too. It's I'm so sorry. I didn't It is it was crazy over there and I didn't know. I things just went to another and it's just, it was a lot. It was a lot and I didn't know if you want to see me. I didn't know if you're going to scream when what happened happened. Uh, I'm she, she goes, "Well, I yeah, I screamed and I ran and when I tried to tell everybody about it, they thought I was crazy and that I was making it all up. And then they had all of these questions about, you know, me going to the dance with you. And I had to really kiss butt and do whatever she said to get back in a, I don't know. The counselor says that it was just a figment of my imagination and that it didn't really exist. Well, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so, um, she, she goes, stop being sorry and eat this float with me. All right. I wanted to call you, but things, things at the wizard, at the witch school were like, things are really bad. I'm glad you're okay. I'm glad the People have been missing, and I'm She, she kind of actually touches you for the first time, very gingerly on the arm, and leans yeah. into you, and she says, I know. I, I was trying, again, nobody wants to talk about it. And she kind of looks around, and noting that Loretta and Monica have, like, spurned up this little friendship, and Brock is pittering along behind them, just hoping that one of them will notice him. Uh, she said, I, do you want to go out back and talk? Yes, let's let's do it. Let's. And she kind of gestures to the back door. There's a gazebo out back, along with a pool, and some other things. And the gazebo sits empty, which is where she she uh, invites you to. And since the drama bar is now full, oh thanks to oh. everybody, things are about to get a smidge dramatic. Oh, um, not again! It's gonna get drama filled up in here. Uh, so actually, uh, let me. I need to update this, which would be. Um, hang on one second. I'm going to put make this right uh, so that we know where we're at. And uh, she kind of invites you out and you guys begin speaking. The camera cuts. We see Loretta and Monica. We see Elizabeth and Kyle cutting a rug on the dance floor. And uh, Raven, you and Tyler, now that you have cleansed the beer uh, to be just cream soda, uh, where are you guys headed? What are you up to? I don't know. Uh, Raven is... So she's kind of the type of person who lets others kind of take the lead, as you can tell by most of the fact that she's kind of a tag along for most of her friends. Um, so she'll probably just kind of follow Tyler however he gravitates through the house. I was about to say, he probably is like, um, is there something you'd like to do? do you, can I, da um, do you want some play? I can make, we can dance. I can dance. I can dance. You want to dance? You can dance? If I want to. You can leave your friends behind. Let's dance. <laughs> and and he's like, oh, as you kind of pull him. He's definitely like awkward and lanky. I imagine he's built like shaggy. 
Like, he's all arms and he's all legs. And he's kind of, like, weird and gangly on the dance floor. But he tries to dance with you. He spins you a few times. Uh, and then, uh, uh... Let's, let's be honest. Raven's 5 foot 10 is 16 years old. And she's she's pretty gangly, too. So it, it kind of hits. <laughs> kind of hits. Um... <laughs> You guys, yeah, you dance. Elizabeth's on the dance floor with Kyle dancing. Um, I actually would say that uh, Benny, recognizing that, like, Jess has walked off. Trust me, he does not seem affected whatsoever. He probably was forced to come on this date and was just trying to be nice. Uh, decides that he's going to spruce up the dance floor with the little, like, you know, like, fist bumping. Maybe he pushes a few tiny high schoolers around and makes a, a mock-up mosh pit for himself. He doesn't interrupt anybody, but he's definitely having his own good time. Oh, um, Benny. Oh, Benny. And things pass uh, for a little while. Jess, you're outside. Do me a favor. Roll a sense die. And you have a perception, right? Some kind of benefit to perception. Yeah. Smell, right? Yep. Okay. It's just a, um, this is a hearing or... This will be, this will be, uh, a prop oh, yeah, I take hearing. You can do hearing. Yeah, wow. Well, um... Yeah, because it could be, really, it's all your senses. Uh, they just kind of go off. So I want to see what, what you roll, what you roll. All right, at a 10. Um, you're out there speaking with her. It's going kind of well. Uh, she keeps mentioning, she's like, I, I don't know. The kids just keep going missing, and nobody really wants to talk about it. And all of my therapists keep telling me that, all of this is is my anxiety. It's just my anxiety uh, that it doesn't really exist and that there's no such thing as witches and strange time portals and all of those things that I saw, which, which was just part of the party. It was just part of the party. And she keeps kind of like talking mm -hmm. in this way where like clearly she's saying somebody else's words to help kind of uh, be real with herself. And, and she says, I am, I am glad to know that you're okay. Oh, you too. It's, it was a good time and up until the vampires. And the, the hairs on the back of your neck stand on end. And the ones on your arms as well. And your senses begin to go off. Your ears tune into something. Your senses, that smell, you know that smell, the smell, the smell of dark magic of of vampires and from inside the house there is a scream the sound of shattering glass and uh and a cutscene to percy and to uh winston who are in a different room of the house a private room of the house uh an office in fact um as they sit there co communing about something um and Percy hears the glass shatter down the hallway and the scream. Um, and the camera cuts to black. And we will pick up next week. Because it's time. <laughs> God! Not again! Not again! <laughs> it's time. No. Why does two hours pass by so no. quickly? No. I cannot. <laughs> no. Vampires uh, again. No. Yeah, vampires are here. Um, oh. Or possibly here. We'll see. Somebody's here and making a ruckus. All right. Uh, that was that was a heck of a lot of fun. Uh, let's go around. Uh, tell us uh, who you are when you're not playing a witch here and where we can find you online. We're going to go backwards, starting with Kika. Hey, uh, I'm Kika. You can find me on Twitter at twitter.com slash kikavio. Um, I'm not really on anything else right now that I can talk about. So Ooh. just find me here every Tuesday. And remember... The only way to keep yourself safe from vampires is to have sex. So have sex, kids. It keeps you safe from vampires. There you go. There's our Ugh. PSA for the day. We definitely just went from PG to PG-13, everybody. <laughs> but Welcome. remember to use protection. It's very important. Protection magic. Against vampires. No, against vampires. No. <laughs> you, you need, you need to, to use actual protection. That's right. And go watch Big Mouth if you need other <laughs> questions about puberty answered, because this is not the show. <laughs> I'm sweating. Is it hot in here? <laughs> You're the one that started it. I did. Are, are I did. You going through changes? I'm going through changes. <laughs> going through changes. I, I wasn't it. the one that put that, that virgins thing in the game. You did. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did the thing. I did the thing. Um, 
Uh, but and, the yeah. virgins didn't do the thing. That's why they're virgins. <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> Catherine, oh, tell us who you are, where we can find you online. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, gosh. I am Catherine, also gluttonous underscore geek on Twitter. I run the nerdy food blog, thegluttonousgeek.com. And uh, I also have a weekly Twitch cooking show called Munchies and Minis. Um, you can find that on my Twitch channel, The Gluttonous Geek. Um, that is every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern to 9 p.m. Eastern. And I have no idea what the heck I'm making tomorrow. It'll be a mystery, even to me. Love mysteries. So, yes. And I play Loretta. <laughs> and I make root beer floats, apparently. Who has left Brock for Monica. Tomorrow, you need to yep. make a garlic bread, uh, a spaghetti sandwich with garlic bread. Oh, gosh. That's all She's I'm like, saying. Where do I even begin with that? <laughs> uh, Start with the spaghetti. Make your garlic uh -huh. bread. Assemble. It's fine. Between <laughs> Full that on and college <laughs> level eats, dude. Between that and You're the non-alcoholic beer tasting cream soda thing. That yes, you know what? I that feel so like this is such a teenager dinner. You could technically dinner. just make pigs in a blanket. They are yeah. in fact Benny's favorite. That's they true. are. He doesn't love a good pigs in a blanket. I was gonna I'm make a joke. My spaghetti sandwiches. <laughs> oh man, oh man, Eris, where can we find you online? Hi, I'm Eris Savad, full-time Stitch Witch. It's on the business cards that I have on the way, so it's official. I'm a Stitch Witch. Um, you can find the stuff that I make on erisavad.com. Uh, starting in 10 days on Fridays, uh, on October 25th, I'm going to be in a Planescape campaign Fun. called Echoes in the Ether. Um I'm very excited about that D and D in space thing. Thank you, thank you. I love planar travel. Nice, I love. So that. yeah, that's coming. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Look at my Twitter, which is down there. Yep, yep. I dropped it in right chat. down there, and that's where you can find all the stuff. One more time for fun's sake. And uh, if you want to check out oh. their Twitch channels, I believe you can hit, there's a, a plug-in below that has character information and player information. You can link directly to their Twitch channels. Also, real quick, mm -hmm. first off, because you're watching Little Red Dot's channel, you get 10% oh, yeah. off on my store. If uh, it's erisavad.com slash shop, all lowercase. Um, and you can use the code dot army to get 10% off. Also, something I've been doing is uh, streaming making and taking requests for items that I'm making. So if you want a custom item, or at least if you see a fabric that I'm working with and you want it in an item, you might be able to jump in my Twitch streams and request me nice. and I'll make it for you right there in front of you. Now that's real weird. magic, everybody. <laughs> that's real magic. The magic of Take Twitch. Take a boat, please. <laughs> <laughs> Kika, uh, <laughs> no, right. oh. I will work on that. Love it. I'm limited to fabric. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and uh, Shauna, wh who are you? Where can we find you? What are you busy doing? Oh, I'm Shauna Nakasone. Flying source on Twitter where I have pinned tweet of all my games and I'm posting art every once in a while. And when I'm not playing a Werewolf Girl with a Cursed Love Life, apparently I am playing on Hearthstone RPG where we play Hell's Rebels. We're a bunch of spoiled, spoiled nobles, and we just beat a bunch of underwater fishmen by have, winning a pole dancing competition. And I'm Hearthstone RPG for the phase where I play a super villain. Just the most. Evil. I love that so much. Wow. Wowza, wowza, wowza. And tonight, of course, Tiffany, who is at RTS Cosplay, could not join us. She's a little out of the weather. So go show her some love so that when she returns to uh, the world of the living, uh, she is uh, is greeted by your lovely follows. Um, and speaking of following, you can do that to the channel right here so that you don't miss when we go live and continue Witch Girl Adventures next week, 7 p.m., uh, Tuesday night. We have three episodes left. We will be announcing the giveaway, uh, which will go live during the first moments of the stream. So know uh, you 
may want to be here for that so that you can get your name in the pot. And then we'll be doing uh, one giant giveaway as well as some live stream giveaways during the final episode happening the night before Halloween. So that would be October 30th. Um, which should be a fun little, a fun little October-y spoopy episode just for all of you. Speaking of spoopy, if you didn't know, we got new emotes for the channel. One of which for the month of October is the great spoopy. Um, so uh, get yourself some spoopy uh, by subscribing to the channel so that you can go share spoop all over the place. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm excited to announce I have two big announcements that I can now make on the channel, which I couldn't last week. First things first, uh, for... Uh, the last week in November, you will catch me over in the UK for the Roll For It Con. I'm being brought over. Um, I'm going to get to meet all of you amazing folks for Roll For It Con uh, over there. So come check it out. Uh, we're going to be having some meet and greets. Uh, the best way to do that is go check out Roll For It's uh, Patreon, where you can gain all the information that you need regarding uh, the upcoming event, where will be all the meetups, all that kind of stuff, as well as the ex extended streams that we'll be doing that weekend as well. So lots and lots um, of cool things. I'm just glad to... To get to cross the pond to come see all of you. So uh, if you wanted your chance uh, to meet me, I'm coming to you. Uh, so meet me halfway, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then this time next year, I'm excited to announce you can uh, join me on a D&D &D cruise. Uh, D3, uh, I think is what it's called, yeah. D3, Dice, Dungeons, Dice, and something. I've, it's it's a boat joke I don't get. I am not um, very water savvy. That being said, uh, I'll have to pull it up. I'm going to go see I can't grab a link for you guys. Uh, you can come join me uh, for it. Uh, we're going to be taking a Norwegian cruise, and it's an all D&D &D cruise. So I'll be running D&D &D along with a few other kind of big name. Um, like, like, he dropped the list, and I was like, ooh! I get to meet these people. It's going to be so exciting. Uh, we're They haven't announced everything yet, but we're going to be leaving from Vancouver, traveling down the West Coast, ending up in LA. Uh, there's whispers of a possible trip to go to Wizards of the Coast uh, location. So there's all kinds of fun stuff. So, um, you know, if you don't want your D&D in a castle but would prefer it on a cruise, well, have I got a opportunity for you um so actually i was gonna quick pull it it's called you can check it out over on uh jason who plays in the uh purloin code cast uh uh tomorrow evening is actually putting all of this together oh it's called b3 at c that's what it's called it's really cute uh yeah 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 and it's all of those things at d3 at c uh you can come play some dice and join a cruise um i'm really excited because it's not a cruise that goes anywhere there are beaches or sunshine so, you know, <laughs> my kind of cruise is where I get to stand on the top of the deck with a jacket on. <laughs> it's going to be great. I'm very, very, very excited. Uh, and then, of course, you can always tune back in tomorrow night, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, for the Purloin Code as we continue the journey through space. Uh, they're going to be, hopefully, not botching their first actual major heist in this game so fingers crossed uh well, we're gonna go right now record an after show for the patreon uh when you join the patreon you gain all kinds of really great things like access to additional information first releases monthly chats with me and at a certain level i'll even run private games for you and your friends so go check that out and uh yeah that's all i got uh so remember be nice or be a toad, or be a toad. toad. there it is mm. yeah it's cool it's it's good. Have... If it means anything, all of you sound like you're together. It's just me that's off. <laughs> at least on my end. I don't know what everybody at home hears. Anyways, be nice or be a toad gang. We're going to go record this after show. We will see you all next week. Bye.